So I'm going to show you how to go ahead and upload a video into YouTube and then embed it onto your site. Um, so we're going to embed it here underneath this one. And I have the video right here. I'm going to upload it onto Alina's um, YouTube. So I've already logged in. So you just click on Upload. Drag this over there. Um, it's pretty generic. It's going to pull the title of your file. So I would write in... Alina Sanal's performance of Words of a Human Father, just to give it some better SEO. I got Alina's name in there. Um, I'll probably pull some information about the performance. There we go. So I'm just going to copy and paste that in. And I put the website URL, that always helps. It's good to put in tags, um, performance, art, Alina, Samal, words of a Cuban father. Um, I'll put uh, California, actress, anything that you want people to look up and pick up on. So you can always add some more in there later. We add a playlist. Um, we don't have a playlist. So let's just do one for words of the Cuban father. It's just a way to keep your um, all your videos organized. You don't have to, but I think it's helpful. <clears throat> so it's on there. So as of working on this, it's public. I'm going to, let's see. You can always add a message if you want to say like, you know, click here, copy this to see upcoming shows. And URL. You can always go back and change this if you want. So while it's uploading, I'm going to uh, show you real quick what happens on the website until I get the URL I need. So what we're going to do, this is the page right here. This is how it looks in WordPress. Uh, this is how it looks live. So the very bottom we have some videos. So if you go to the very bottom here, you'll see this full width container. Once again, everything's kind of in a full, full width container. So it's in this one right here. There's a container right here around this. You can see a separator, which gives us some space on top. Um, it's a, this is an anchor to help um, URL links go straight to it. So for example, this has video. So if I put a hashtag and then paste that in there and then click return, let me just close that real quick. So it goes straight to that part of the page, which is helpful if you're marketing the video. You can send them straight there. Text volume. So instead of going all over the page, it'll take you straight down to the video. So that's what that's for the anchor. This is obviously the text right here. And then right below it is the code for the video and a separator. You see a separator right there. You might want to make the separator a little bit larger. We got 20. Let's see what 40 does. That's margin top, margin bottom. You can play with that or not. You can leave it as is. Save. <clears throat> so I'll just show you real quick until I get this um, URL ready. So what you want to do is we're going to copy this. So just clone it. Then you want to drag it underneath the separator because you want to have video, separator, video. So it'd be video, separator, video. And when you go into your code block, the only thing you have to change is this HTTPS www. So it's basically the URL for the video. And I'll show you where that's at. So if I click on this right now, it's not going to be loading yet, but it'll give us the option. So it's processing the video, check back later. Obviously we can't see it right now. What you wanna do is click share, go to embed, 
don't copy all this, just the HTTPS all the way to the end. So what's in between these two parentheses here? So copy that, go back into edit page, click here. You just want to highlight that, that's the old one, paste it in there. And that would be command V for a Mac. Hit save. And then click update. It's probably still uploading and processing, so it might take a little bit. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we'll click this again. It'll jump us down to videos. And there you can see we got this video, Where's the Cuban Father? And this one will be coming once it's uploaded. And now you have your two videos. So I'm going to pause this. We'll come and check back once this is done processing and see uh, how it loads on there. Okay, so you can see right here that you're ready to go. The video has been uploaded. Um, so we'll go back to this page. I've already refreshed it. We'll go down and here's your video. Now, um, you might want to change the thumbnail sometimes, you know, it's not the, the best image. So what you can do is go back to your video, um, click on this one, it's going to reload this. Uh, so you go into, I believe it's analytics, I might have clicked the wrong one, hang on, we will see. There wasn't that one. One second. Uh, here we go. Uh, info and settings. Click that one. You can change the thumbnail here. So there's this one. There's this one. You can also custom set one. This one looks good. That one's kind of fun. Um, whichever one you want. So we have that there. Once again, this is all the information we put in earlier, so you can always change that. So I'm going to click save change. Sometimes it takes a little while for it to update. You could check back later. So that's been saved. We'll go back to video. We'll see if it's updated. Like I said, it might take a while. Yeah, it'll probably take a while, so we'll have to come back to it later. So there should be. like fun. She's a great actress. Um, so yeah, that's how you go ahead and upload your video onto YouTube, make some change settings. Like I said, this uh, thumbnail will update here eventually. Add your own thumbnail. Um, I showed you also how to add it to your page down here. So in the future, you can always just duplicate this one by clicking this clone, dragging it underneath, clicking this one, clone it, drag it underneath, and then make those changes, you know, just adding this URL Make sure you keep the uh, quotes there. So, perfect. And that's how you do that. Hope this helped.